Good morning. It's day 10 of the sourdough journey. I skipped day nine because I filmed how to make your very first sourdough sandwich loaf. And that link is right above here if you hadn't seen that. I wanted to get that out just in case your sourdough starter was a lot more ahead of me and mine and so that you didn't have to wait too long. But today is technically day 10 of our journey and it's growing. So every day I see a little bit more growth and so I'm very encouraged by that. I'm gonna do the same process that I had been doing for the last nine days, even though you didn't see me do it on day nine, I still fed twice a day. I'm gonna do the same thing on day 10. I'm gonna take part of this away, I'm going to feed and do the same thing tonight. And I really expect within the next day or two to see this doubled, I hope, I'm hoping. Um, but again, I think some of you are already ahead. Your starter was much more active and more, more robust compared to this one but we're getting there. We are making progress. Don't get discouraged. Yes. <laughs> Don't get discouraged if it takes just a little bit longer. That's the message, right? Just keep at it, have faith, keep going. So I'm gonna feed this, discard half, and do the same thing tonight. It is the afternoon, well, it's actually the early evening. It is almost seven o'clock. And I did my morning feed and I just wanna show you, it has doubled. I am calling that an official double by volume. So it took 10 days, 10 days for that to happen. And I am so happy. Mm, and it smells like true sourdough. Yeah, perfect. So. I am not going to record any more videos on how to grow your own starter. So today, day 10 is the last one. If you get to day 10 and your starter has not yet doubled, just keep going. Trust the process, please. I'm gonna say, even though I've done this before, I had doubts this past week. I'm like, oh gosh, what if this doesn't work? <laughs> but just trust the process, cause it did. So. I am going to put this in the refrigerator. So now I have two starters. I have to figure out what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this one. I may actually give this one away. I'm not sure yet. But up next, I am going to show you what to do with all of your discard, right? Once you have an active, mature starter, then you can start saving your discard. And I'm gonna show you what to do with that in the next video. Thank you for joining me on this 10 day journey on how to create our own sourdough starter. Let me know if you have questions. I am so encouraged by all of the comments and the feedback and people that were loving this and that actually found success themselves. So thank you. I, I really am happy that you guys enjoyed it and found value out of it. So up next, like I said, are gonna be more videos on what to do with your discard and what to do with your starter. Stay healthy, stay well. See you next time.